You might think of an aircraft carrier as a huge lonely target out on the ocean, but that's not the case at all. These massive ships are anything but defenseless. Their secret to surviving missile attacks is a clever strategy called defense in depth. Basically, it's not about one magic shield, but a whole bunch of different defense systems working together to spot, trick, and take out any threats long before they get close. A carrier is never by itself. It's always the star of a team called a carrier strike group, with other warships, subs, and planes all working to keep it safe. The first line of defense starts way, way out, hundreds of miles from the carrier. First off, an enemy has to actually find the carrier in the middle of the vast ocean, which is a huge challenge since it's always on the move. The carrier's team has planes like the E-2 Hawkeye that act as its eyes in the sky, spotting trouble from far away. If an enemy does manage to launch a missile, it's the carrier's buddies, the cruisers and destroyers, that jump into action first. They've got the awesome Aegis combat system, which can track tons of targets and fire off interceptor missiles to take out threats from a super long distance. Okay, but what if a missile slips past those first defenders? That's when things get tricky for the missile. The next step is all about electronic warfare. Instead of blowing the missile up, the goal is to mess with its head. The carrier and its escorts can blast out powerful electronic signals to jam the missile's radar and send it flying off in the wrong direction. They can also shoot out clouds of tiny metal strips called chaff to create fake targets or launch hot flares to trick heat-seeking missiles into following them instead. It's all about making a ton of noise and confusion to make the missile miss. So, let's say a really stubborn missile gets through all of that. Now it's down to the wire, and the carrier has to defend itself directly. This is the last line of defense, and it's pretty intense. The carrier has its own short-range missiles, like the RIM-116 rolling airframe missile and the evolved Sea Sparrow missile for one last shot at intercepting the threat. And for the absolute final last-ditch effort, there's the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, or you known as Sea Wiz. It's a real lifesaver. When you put it all together, you can see that an aircraft carrier's ability to survive isn't just about being big and tough. From making it hard to be found in the first place, to having friends that can shoot down missiles from far away, to confusing threats with electronic tricks, and finally, having some serious firepower for close calls. Any missile trying to hit a carrier has to beat this whole obstacle course, and if it fails at any point, the game is over. That's what makes these ships some of the most well-defended pieces of hardware on the planet.